Welcome to all the grade four learners, learners all over Namibia watching. Um, my name is Stefani Kotze, and this is my friend that will be joining us in class today. Welcome to My Zone Online School. First, before we start with our lesson, we are going to sanitize. Okay, so let's spray it on our hands. So you guys must always remember to san sanitize and to beware of social distance. Okay, so today we are going to talk about health education and personal health. Okay, great fours. So before we start talking about health education, let us open our workbooks and turn to page 12. So let's quickly look at the vocabulary words. The first word is personal. Personal means your own or private. So for example, the clothes that you are wearing today, it is your personal or your own clothes. The next word is factors. Factors means the things that causes a change or something that causes a change. And the last word is effect. Can make a difference. So that is something that makes a difference to you. Something that affects you. Okay, so let us start off with the relationship between healthy behavior and personal health. So the thing is, health is important to all of us. And what you guys might not understand now is that your behavior affects your health. But before we get into that, you guys need to understand germs and what germs do. So germs are tiny organisms that can make you ill. And the thing is, guys, they are so small that you cannot see them without a microscope. A microscope is a pretty cool tool that scientists use to enlarge teeny tiny things that you can see it with a human eye. Okay, and this is the problem with germs. Because we don't see them, we don't even know that they exist. So now I'm going to show you with a practical illustration how quickly germs can spread. So I'm going to take a small bit of lotion and put it on my hands. So let's say that, now you guys, you need to use your imaginations for this illustration. So let's say that this blue glitter is germs, okay? So I just went to the bathroom in break time and I forgot to wash my hands. Then I get back in class and when one of my students walk in, I high five her to greet her. Okay, so let's show them our hands. So now the germs that I had on my hands spread to her as well. So can you guys see how easily germs are spread? Germs can also be spread when you wipe your runny nose with your hand or when you sneeze and you cough without, holding, without coughing into your arm. So that is how quickly germs can spread. Um, there are also a lot of sources of germs. It's very important to remember the sources, the different sources of germs and where they come from. Germs come from sick people firstly. Okay, so sick people normally sneeze and cough um, and that is how germs are spread. Animals also have germs. So I know that you guys love your dogs and your cats and your hamsters, but the thing is they can be full of germs. So when you are done playing with them, it is important to wash your hands. Uncooked food, dirty toilets, and dirty kitchens can also contain germs. So guys, I hope you understand now how important it is for you to be mindful of your own behavior and how you are responsible for your own personal health. Hi, grade fours. So let's continue. I hope you guys are still with me. So now we are going to talk about personal health factors that affect you and your family. So the thing is, when someone in your family gets sick, it affects the whole family. Let's say, for example, the guardian or the parent in the home gets sick, then that will affect the children as well. So that will mean that they won't be able to go to work, they won't be able to earn money, and they won't be able to pay bills like your school fees, for example. So can you guys see that this becomes a large snowball effect that can definitely and will definitely go wrong? So let's turn to our workbooks. We are still on page 12. And let's start with the first factor. 
um, the smoking of cigarettes or tobacco. So the thing is that your lungs are affected when you smoke and your lungs are weakened. And that means that they can more easily be affected by germs. So in other words, you can more easily become sick. And when someone in the family smokes, the rest of the family inhales the smoke and the fumes. So that means their lungs will weaken as well and they can be affected more easily by germs too. Smoking can also cause diseases such as lung cancer, asthma, and lung infections. And this is really serious, you guys. The second thing is drinking alcohol. So not only can the drinking of alcohol affect your health, but also that of your family. Things like financial struggles and violence goes hand in hand with the drinking of alcohol. Too much alcohol can actually cause your brain to shrink. Can you guys believe that? It can also cause blackouts, heart damage, and damage to your liver. And while we're talking about families, when a woman is pregnant and she drinks alcohol, then that baby will be born with something that we call alcohol syndrome. Okay, so in other words, that baby will be born with brain damage and with growth problems. And this is not something that you can be healed of. Can be healed of. Um, so, yeah, this is very serious, you guys. Okay, so the third thing is a lack of exercise. So nobody wants to be a couch potato. I don't know if you guys know what a couch potato is, but it is when somebody sits in front of the television the whole day and you eat, 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 okay, and you do no physical activity. So that is very bad and unhealthy. So when you don't exercise, it can increase the risk of heart disease, obesity, high blood pressure, and cholesterol. But there's a very easy solution for this problem. Even by exercising 20 to 30 minutes per day, you can increase your health and prevent all of these illnesses. The fourth one is a poor diet. So on that picture, you guys, you can see that that boy is eating a lot of unhealthy food. So it is important to have a balanced diet. Okay. And also the food that we eat gives our bodies energy to do our work, to do our schoolwork and to play. So the problem comes in when you only eat one type of food. So let's say, for example, you only eat bread the whole day. Okay. So that means your body will only receive a teeny tiny part of what it actually needs to function properly and to be healthy. Okay. This will also affect your immune system and you will easily become sick. And this counts for you and for your whole family. The last one is not getting enough sleep. So the thing is that when you sleep, your body restores itself. And can you, you guys won't believe this, but you actually grow in your sleep. And after a good, night, good night's rest, you wake up full of energy and excited for the new day. But when you don't get in enough sleep, then you wake up tired and irritated. And after a long time of lack of sleep, you can suffer from health issues like blood pressure and heart disease. So this is very important, you guys. So now we can turn to page 13 in our workbooks. So there you will see the self-assessment. We have two questions for you. The first question is, identify the relationship between healthy behavior and personal health. So for this question, it is important to um, remind yourself of germs and what they do. Question two, for each of the following sentences below, state if it is true or false. So in the little space provided, you guys must go and write true or false, depending on the sentence. Okay, but don't worry, the memorandum is also attached, but please try to do this on your own. Um, before you look at the memorandum. So before, before we finish today, my friend and I, we are going to sanitize again. So you can stand up, please. Okay, so let's sanitize. You guys at home, you must remember to do this. This is very important. And remember, social distance. Thank you so much for watching. I've enjoyed teaching you. You guys must have a lovely day. Bye. Hi, everyone. I'm 
Joshi and make sure to always make a helicopter circle stretching your arms out and spinning around like me. And make sure you're not touching anyone while doing this. <laughs>